Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. What's up, everybody? Yeah. It's your girl, Tanya Lady T. And this is another edition of Lady T Sensations. Come on, everybody. Get on the flavor train. What? Why? Because it's tickets to free. I almost got my thang thang when I take that. I thought I thought I put it that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, I made uh, pork tenderloin in a crock pot. This is leftovers, so it's going to be better the second time around. All right, y'all. So that's what I got in here. Over rice, green beans. We got water on deck today. And let's say grace. Thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. Amen. Please go check out... Um, my cooking channel, if you're interested in how I did this in the crock pot. Y'all, we're in winter. We're, we're in the heat of winter. We actually got a little snow. <laughs> but, uh, so, you know, this is good old southern comfort food. Put it all in the crock pot and go. But anyway, I'll leave the link to the video in the description box and at the end of the video. So, thank you kindly. All right, y'all. I'm ready to eat. I had to run an unexpected errand today, so I had to get a little dolled up. You know how that is. I had to do a quick get dressed uh, for public, if you will. Mm. Mm. Although this cooked in the crock pot for almost six hours, because you know you start this at the first when you get up or mid morning, then by five thirty six o'clock, everybody ready to eat. But those potatoes, oh my gosh, y'all! Everything has marinated all night long. And I was going to um, do a pan of cornbread. But sometimes when you eat meals like this, all you need is a piece of light bread. Just a piece of bread. Soft, soft bread. That tenderloin came out so tender. And I'm being faithful and walking at least 40 minutes a day. Minimum 30, but maximum 40, 45 minutes a day. Y'all went out there today. It was so cold out them doors. I, I only got 15 minutes in, but at least I got I got it in. Ooh, it was cold. And then the wind was blowing. I mean, that wind was cutting me, honey. I mean, cutting. Mm. See how that potato is already saturated with all that flavor. I have really been enjoying this meal planning. I really have. I mean, I really, 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 really.
I bet y'all get my tail in the bed tonight. I don't know what it is. I was talking to my mother earlier today. I said, I don't know what it is. But for the past maybe three, four days, man, I'm not getting in bed till like one, sometime two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, what in the world? I guess do, do everyone have spells of insomnia? I don't know what that's about. I should have opened up me a can of cranberry sauce. I'm, I'm, I'm craving out some that cranberry sauce with this. You know what? Since the bread is just right here, I keep my bread basket over on my own. Let me go on the bus to move and get me a piece of bread out. Why not? Well, why don't you? Just need one slice to make everything nice so we don't have to sneak twice. Mm. Nature's own butter bread. Not sponsored. <laughs> I love Nature's own products. How about y'all? What, leave in the comment section, what's your favorite bread selection? Speaking about bread, I'm, I finally have narrowed it down. I'm going to get me a bread maker. I'm getting excited about that. It make it, you, it prepares it. You put, you, you know, you make it homemade. You put your flour, your yeast, your this, your that, that. And it makes a bunch of different stuff and it's programmable. You can make, you know, pizza dough, all that stuff. It's very versatile. So I thought, you know what, I might get this. And guess what? If when you're doing bread, after it mixes it up, it bakes it all in one contraption. Yes. So. I'm still watching a few YouTube videos on the pros and cons. That's what I'm going to do this weekend. Nestle myself down on Saturday evening and really just do pick the top three. Make a decision from that. But that's why I love YouTube so good. I mean, when you're thinking about buying something and you want to make sure you're getting the most bang for your buck, you know, put it in the search engine, search engine, Search engine toolbar on YouTube. Somebody's done did a video on it. Trust and believe. We can save ourselves a whole lot of money by watch, watching other people that give really good, honest reviews on stuff. So good. Mm. That flavor, y'all. I need my mom to make me another batch of rub. And because I'm getting low when I use the season is. And she said when she makes it, she just throw everything in there. She don't really measure. I told her, well, the next time she make a batch, 
she either need to do a video or either make sure I'm over there when she does it. And I, you know, I'll get all the ingredients because spices can be expensive. Um, I'll buy all the ingredients so she can bust a move and make me a batch. It's like an all-purpose seasoning. You put it on anything. Mm. Y'all, that is so good and tasty. Don't waste it. I've made biscuits before. I've even made a pizza dough. But man, that was years ago. I think I was in my 20s. You know, when you're in a relationship, you're trying to impress. <laughs> and you say, no, baby, we ain't got to order from the Pizza Hut or whatever. Pizza over there, yeah. I'ma make you I'ma make us a piece. That was so many years ago. But anyway. I think I'm going to make some gingerbread either. I actually need to make a sweet potato pie. Because I got that crust over there. But I'm going to make it on graham cracker crust. Versus the regular pie crust. Use graham cracker crust. I was talking to my mom about it. She said, you know what? That's good. She said, I always, she said, I don't never think to grab the graham crackers. She said, but, because my mom always uses the regular pie crust. She said, but yeah, it's good like that. So I might bust the move and make that. is good. I say some for Rick so he can take some home with him. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh my, 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 some good water. Y'all, we can't forget about the crock pot.
we can do some dynamite meals in the crock pot. But yeah, y'all, what what bread did y'all grow up on? Um, I'm trying to think. We grew up on, um, I think, Wonder Bread. You know what? No. I think we had may have my mom my parents may have purchased wonder bread. We grew up on sunbeam. Mm, that was so good. Y'all, that banana pudding was so good. It's gone. Banana pudding don't last long. Do it. Once you make banana pudding, okay, you set it overnight. Well, that's the way I do mine. When I make it, I like for it to sit overnight because I want my cookies to get soft. Because, you know, everything is creamy. It messes with my sensory issues. If I make a banana pudding... And you cut into it too soon. Because, you know, half the cookies might still have a crunch to them. And the others don't. Mm -mm. They're going to mess with my sensory issue. It just, it's going to be a problem. So to avoid all of that, people. to And this, this is for me. Lady T. To avoid all of that. To avoid whether or not one part of my tooth is going to experience a crunch. And the other is going to experience... A soft cookie? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Stop it. Just eliminate all of that drama from your life and just let it sit overnight. Okay? And then the next day, you you good. You good. You good. You good. But yeah, once, once you cut into that banana pudding, over. Me and Rex done told that banana pudding down. You heard you hear, you hear me? But yeah, I'm gonna have to make some more of that again. I might wait a couple of more weeks. Like I said, I already got, I got gingerbread, sweet potato pie. I got another box of brownies with walnuts. Well, I'm gonna add my own walnuts to it. What else did I buy? Did I do? No, I used all the. I no, I do got another. Thing. Yeah, I got another container of cream because I want to do like a, a, a fruit salad. I got some fresh fruit in there, and I'm gonna cut it up. Oranges, apples, pineapples, and cherries. I'm gonna cut them up. Oh, you know what? Do I have like, pears? And I'm gonna cut them up and then do like fruit. Cool Whip, Fruit, Cool Whip, you know, just do a layer and just, and, you know, have that as something, you know, something sweet around the house. But, um, but yeah, that banana pudding was sure enough good. Anyway, let me go. I'm got a little sleep in my eye. And, uh, like I said, I won't be up at no once to, to toast the clocks this, this day. I'm going to get on in the bed. But anyway, y'all, ooh, that was good. 
That was good. But like I said, please go check out my video on my cooking channel, Cooking with Lady T. And I got uh, some videos over there that y'all might be interested in. I'm going to start trying to be a little bit more active on that uh, channel since, you know, I'm dedicated to, like, reducing eating out. Am I becoming my mother? I'm enjoying my cooking. I really am. And then, of course, you always like mama's cooking. But anyway, um, and we'll see how she's doing and how she's feeling, whether or not we're going to go over there this Sunday. But in the event that she's not, I'm going to be making on Sunday a um, bacon, potato, and, ch and corn soup, chowder, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be making that from scratch. So I might put that over there on the cooking channel too. And then I'm going to do a pan of cornbread and that's going to be Sunday dinner. Yes, over here. But anyway, y'all, let me go. And I want to thank y'all so much for stopping on the flavor train because what, what flavor is where it's at. Love y'all. Bye y'all.